there's it's, there's no such a portrayal for a guy other than that like you know like there's nothing worse for a guy to feel like your enemies are never going to hurt you you know i know where my enemies are my right. enemies are off in the distance because right. they can't get close mm -hmm. enough to touch me right but that the, the blow the blow comes from someone close someone you trust that you have your guard down with that you are yeah. vulnerable enough with for them to penetrate you through your 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 guard right you through your armor and it's and good. this is this is what annoys me glenn is i got leroy on here i got you on here and i got me on here why the fuck is rollo and fresh and fit doing all this bullshit when I, it's obvious we young men need guidance not bullshit not more leaning into instant gratification not more superficial bullshit they need true guidance, right? I mean, in order to get the betterment that they truly desire, which is getting on their purpose, whether they're to be a great pianist or a great painter or carpenter, or electrician, whatever the fuck it is, um, you know, stock, bro whatever it is. Um, or the, just the greatest dad. Yeah, which is very, very important as well, right? raising the next generation your lineage i mean absolutely i don't mean to minimize that i'm just saying before that even comes yeah. ideally you're on your path and purpose to see betterment for yourself your close family and society all to varying degrees but with you coming first mm -hmm. yeah couldn't agree more brother because you can't change anything until you change yourself first you can't help anything until you help yourself first right you know? it all it, it starts with you yep but it doesn't end with you though that's the thing yeah very true man yeah we all need to be that we bit more selfish but not selfish selfish just a bit more self-concerned like more. don't eat the last cookie okay you can save that for someone else yeah. but the first five you can have those for yourself yeah <laughs> you know it's that's it's funny way, it? <laughs> it's funny at, at my job which i'm uh, very nearing to leaving at this point i really don't need it at this point it's the first job i've worked in 10 years uh because i've been self-employed all throughout had a uh, bad divorce you know this type of shit. but anyways point is i've been working this job for an isp internet service provider and uh i'm not gonna get too into the detail about that in particular but i, I have some very interesting interactions there one thing is it's an office setting and there's always fucking junk food everywhere. And I'm probably the most vocal person. I don't go out of my way. Well, no, I do a little bit um, to let them know, like you're literally handing everyone poison. Like you realize that, right? All this bullshit junk candy bars. And you know, at times they'll be like, you know, we're going to do this raffle. Sometimes they give out a bunch of money. It'll be like somebody gets a hundred dollars or it'll be like a food based thing. And if it's food, it's like junk food or pizza or whatever. Look, I like pizza, but none of these fat fucks need a pizza every day. I promise none of them. And it's killing the productivity and nobody realizes it. Like I'll, I'll be the one person to, uh, kind of point this stuff out. So anyways, um, this side, how, uh, how many pieces of paper, get turned in with cheeto stains and you know i'm just 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 wondering you know or dorito, it, yeah. like dorito grease you know what i'm saying like yeah yeah um it's it gets kind of disgusting i mean really and and i'd see it all throughout society it's not just at my job and my my workplace is probably a bit nicer than most in america i'm just saying generally but mm -hmm. still it's ratchet it's fucking ratchet uh, some of the things that I see happen there are just unreal. And what I've noticed, just my own observation of being there in the workplace, I've probably raised more ruckus there than anyone else in the building. And there's hundreds of people. And it's funny, a lot of people will come to me on some level for like mentoring or whatever the case, um, even about women at times.